Okay, what's up friends? I'm here with... Ashley! And she's been working really, really hard on... Estimating! Okay, so what do you want me to do, Ashley? I want you to give me a number and I'm trying to estimate it. Tell, and what does that mean when you're estimating? It means find the number that it rounds to or it goes up to. Or it's closer to, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, you want a three-digit number or a four-digit number or a two-digit number? You could do a four-digit mm -hmm. number. You want a medium one or a tricky one? Medium one. Okay, I'll give you medium one first. How about, you know how to round it to the tens, hundreds, and thousands? Mm, yeah. Okay, hold on, let's see. So, I'm going to have you round it to the thousands place first. Tell me what thousand is it closer to. And then we can round it to the nearest. Thank you for holding that. Then we can round it to the nearest hundred, and then we can round it to the nearest ten. All right, do work. I'm just gonna use a number line. Do it. Yeah. Okay. You want to do pencil or marker? It's up to you. Marker. Okay. So talk through what you're thinking. So right here we have 2,000 because if you take away these and you put zeros, it's 2,000. And the two is in the? Thousands place. Okay. And then if you cut a thousands block in half, you'll have 500. So it would be 2,500. And then at That's the my end, halfway mark, right? Mm -hmm. And then at the other end, it will be 3,000. Okay. But which one is this closer to? If you count. You're thinking about where would this number go on this number line, okay. right? Because you know that this number is somewhere between 2,000 and... 3,000. You know your middle point is 2,500, right? So this is 2,653. Where do you think it might go? This way. Okay, how do you know that? Because um, it's over five. What's over five? The hundreds, please. Because anything lower than that, it would go to 2,000, but anything higher would go to the number above it. Excellent. So that means it would be 3,000. Beautiful. Okay, talk me through rounding to the hundreds place for that same number. I would do my number line again, mm -hmm. and I would put 600 on one side. I still don't know my middle thing, but I'll figure it out. And then I'll put 700 on this side, and my inner my inner point will be your middle point. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm will be 650. Okay, how'd you know that? Because if you have this number, it's 600, and you just take with the three, and it'd be 50. Where did 50 come from, though, since you're running to the nearest 100? How does 50 relate to 100? Remember, this is a halfway mark, right? Uh -huh. So what do you know about 100 and half of 100? It would be 610. Half of 100? 605. What's half of 10? 5. And what's half of 100? Five. It's be six hundred five. Uh uh. Half of ten is five. So half of a hundred has to be more than five. Six hundred six. Okay, so yeah. now we're gonna use some manipulatives to figure out this middle point thing because this is tricky. Before we do the manipulatives though, I want you to look at your number line really quick because you know that the value of the six and this number is six hundred, right? But remember that these two numbers have to have this number in the middle of it. So 2,653, does that fit between 600 and 700, or did you forget something? I forgot something. What did you forget? I forgot the thousand. So you wanna pop it on? Mm -hmm. That's a common mistake. But I guarantee you if I had to pay my house payment and I forgot the thousands, that bank would take my house away. So this means that 2,653 is between 2,600. It's gonna be more than 2,600, right? But it's gonna be less than 2,700. Do you agree so far? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing I want us to think about is we said we know 
you already know that half of 10 is what? You already five. told me this, is five. So we're thinking about the halfway point. 650. Now hold on, greet it. You also told me this is how much? Right, so look out, I'm gonna write this. Half of 1,000 is what? Is 500. Okay, can you show me with the manipulative, so people that are watching the video, how did you figure out that half of that is 500? What can we do with that block? Well, hold on before we get there, because that's going to take way too long. Remember, this is my cool block that you can actually break in half. So let's look. Do we have half and half so far? Yeah. Look. Did you break half off yet? No. Nope. You got to break some more off of here. I can break these up. You need to break some more off till we got half and half. This one is super hard. Here, we'll just put this one back on. How many how many is half of a thousand? Take those two apart. Five. Five what? Hundreds. Okay, now stack those back together and then we'll look and see if it's really halfway. Isn't this thousand block cool? Yeah. Because you can actually break it up. Have you tried the ASMR videos? No. Oh, I, those ones you were telling me with the crazy sounds? Mm -hmm. I need to check those out. Okay, so do you see half now? Mm -hmm. So half of a thousand is how many hundreds? Five hundred. Okay, so we'll put this back together. So if half of this 10 is five, and if I chop it in half, you can see. It's mine, it's okay. Don't write on your teachers. One, two, three, four, five. five. You see that, right? Mm -hmm. And half of the thousand is 500, which we just proved, right? So now I wanna know, 10 has one zero, 1,000 has three zeros, 100 has two zeros. Do you see my pattern? I wanna know what do you think is half of 100? Do you notice a pattern? 10. 10 is half of 100. 10 is half of 100? Okay, let me grab 100. All right, you were saying 10 is half of 100, then you said 5 is half of 100. Can you show me half on the 100? Here. I'm going to let you even draw on it. Draw it neat. You were on the exact... Okay. There you go. <gasps> it's okay. It's mine. All right, so you cut your 100 in half, right? Mm -hmm. So how much is on each side? Five. Five what? Tens. Okay, so what's the value of five tens? Fifteen. Fif no. Fifteen or fifty? Fifty. So write the number fifty over here and write the number fifty over there. I'm abusing this. No, you're not. You're using it as a teaching tool. Just do not do this in class. Miss Martin will kill me. All right, so we know half of 100 is 50, right? So we can write 50 over here. Okay, so now, marker. Thank you. Back to our work. We were taking this number and we were rounding it to the nearest hundred. We knew that 2,600 and 2,700 are our endpoints. We we're thinking about what's half of a hundred to find our middle point. And we said half of a hundred was what? 50. So then in the middle, what would my new number be? 650. In, not just 650. 2,650. Good girl. So I was right the first time and then I just fucked the two. Because you second guess yourself all the time and I tell you that you're smart and you don't believe me yet. I don't. One day you'll believe me. So now I have this number. Mm -hmm. Which side of that middle point would it be on? Be on this side. I usually look down. Like they both have 2,000, right? Mm -hmm. And they're both four digits, so I can just start here. So they both have 2,000. They it's both like have. It's like the ABC order. It is like ABC order. Good connection. So now I have both have 600, right? 
But if I cover up the thousands and the hundreds, I'm left it with... It would be 2,700. How do you know? Because it's, um, it, I know it's five, but also this one was also, um, five, but it would go to here because it's, like, over four, but it's kind of like... Look at what's showing behind my fingers. What's left? 53. And then if I cover up the 2,600 here, I have 50. what? What do you know about the relationship between 53 and 50? Which one's greater? 53. So 2,653 is literally, it's just three more than this number, right? So it's very close to the middle, but it's still a little bit closer to this one, right? So I was right. You were right. Girl, get up. You still got the 10 to do. I hate when that happens. Okay, so let's do our last one. We're going to round it this number. I want to know about how much is it if I round it to the nearest 10. So I have 50 on one side. Don't forget, it's 50 in the 10s, but don't forget $2,600 has a value, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. nope, nope. You're at 50. 10 more than 50 is... 60. Good. So just cross that out and write it right under it. 2,660, right? Mm -hmm. So make that... Put, bring down your 2 for your 2,000. And this says 2,600. I need it to say 10 more than this. This is 2,650. 50 plus 10 more is 60. So this needs to, there you go, okay. You're good, you're good. So your middle point, since now I'm rounding to the nearest 10, for my middle point, I'm thinking about which one? What's half of what? Half of 100 is Am 50. I rounding, okay. So do I need to know what's half of 100 for this one? If I'm rounding to the nearest 10? No. I need to know what's half of 10, 10. right? What's half of 10? Five. So if I add five to this number, I should get my middle number. 555. Two, no, six, 2,655. I agree. Go ahead and put it down. That means if I add five more to this, I should end up with this number, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so now my original number is 2,653, right? Is it less than your middle number or greater than your middle number? Greater than my middle number. How do you know before you write? Because it's this is fifty, but this is a five, and it's over zero, so that means it would go to here. Because let me help you. Ooh, I almost put my mouth on it. Ew. So I'm rounding to the nearest ten, right? Mm -hmm. So I know two thousand six hundred. This one has two thousand six hundred. This one has 2,600. Six. This one also has 2,600. So I really only need to focus on... The 55, the 10s. The tens. And that's why you guys tend to drop those when you guys write it, because you're trying to focus on what's important, which is true, that's the important part, but we can't forget about what's in front of it, right? So, what do you know about the relationship between 53 and 55? Yes, 53 is more than 50, but is it more than or less than 55? It's more than. 53? Is 3 more than 5? Yes. No! <laughs> <laughs> it's... Okay. So right before 2,655, what would the number right before be? If I went backwards one. 5, 2,600... Good. And then right before that would be what? 200. No, 2,655. Before the 54? I'm going backwards one. 2,652. 53. Yeah. And look, isn't that my original number? Yeah. So this one is only two less than my middle point, but it's still closer to what? Go ahead and draw your arrow. So it'd be the same number? 
it would round down to 2,650. That means that 2,653 is between 2,650 and 2,660, but it's closer to... 2,650. You have been working so hard, girl. I'm so proud of you. You gotta do a shout out to someone to sign us off. I wanna shout out to my YouTube channel and Mrs. Estepos, which you guys are probably watching it right now. But I wanna shout out to mine, which is Love My Ashley, I am um, Standing Crow. Okay, so make sure y'all follow Ashley and follow Nancy Estepa, hashtag crazy math. High five, girl. All right.